Both of us, we leave a, we, we plant a lot of strawberry la, on each other's land. What? <laughs> requested from the comment section below uh, so we hear you okay we will do this episode for you guys mm. so my first question to you guys then is what happened okay whoever wants to what happened <laughs> 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 no, no, no. no, Ting Ting to start because she's a new person what, yes. oh my God. what happened I met the person through an ad okay so we hit off like we, we talk then we have the telegram but the thing right we went out for so many times right the places we go to right were like not the kind of place that you and your friends will go to. For example? For example. Oh, I need to say. <laughs> yes, for example. Oh my god! Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> I can see your mouth shaking. Eh. What is happening? Yeah, yeah. You will go, you will go <laughs> the. I know, the shopping centre, the handicapped toilet. Uh, no! no. Too fast, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, we like go picnic. Um, we go like Christmas on the land. Wow. Like ah. a lot of big places. Right, right, right. But the thing is like nothing happened out of it. So it became from like having feelings to become a little bit more like annoyed and like frustrated of like what is happening between the both of us. Like till a point where like, okay, if nothing's gonna happen then like I don't wanna waste your time, neither should I waste my time. So like I ended it la. Like huh, you never attack. No, no, I won't! So no, that's the thing, I won't! No, wait, wait, wait. When you go out with this person, right? Did, yeah. did y'all do anything? Like, who hand la, or like, or this kind of thing? We only got hard when we leave. That's the thing. So it's very... Don't wala when you're in this panel or something. Shut the fuck up! So I ended it through text. Okay. Wait, oh. no, the, fu- the funniest thing is that you ended it as if it was something. You know what I mean? Like, no, so, how so the thing was. She closed the chapter. Yeah. That. Okay, what, what do you say to close that chapter? Like, um, I don't know where this is going. Um, and I don't know why we. So, like. Let's just not waste each other. Yeah, time. something like that. The reply for me was, yeah, mm. I still feel the same way. Then some of my friends' perspective is like a bit different. It's like, is it because you showed him this way? That's why he too scared to like Doing say it. his real feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then ran away. <laughs> or it's like he really might have felt the same way. Yeah. And then nobody said it. If he had said that actually like he treats me more than just a friend, then I won't like just let it go like that. Because I feel like after spending like so many months together, hanging out and talking every day, to me it's more than just a friend. Like, mm. Yeah. Or maybe he tried to attack, but then you were like too dumb already. You, you. Maybe, eh? <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. So I'm, I'm someone, right, who is them. Like, blur. Ah, yeah. Blur. So, oh. like, if this person hints something, right, I might not get it. Ah, yeah, you don't know how to attack, lah. Wallah, Pauline, how about you teach me? Yeah, how about Pauline? You yeah. explain your story. Tell me about the guy's point of view. <laughs> no, no, no. You explain your story first, Pauline. Yeah, then yeah. you see whether you know how to attack or not. Ah, <laughs> correct, correct. What are you doing on this episode? Can you tell me? Uh, uh, uh okay, so, uh. <laughs> So like about, I think five years ago, I studied in Taiwan for like one year plus. One of my classmates, she's like an Asian French. Mm-hmm. So we just call her the French girl. Okay. okay. Every time after class, right, we will go makan together. Mm-hmm. Then after that, she will come over to my dorm, then we study. Yeah. Ooh, then study, study. study. Really, really, study. Really, really, <laughs> really, really, really. You know, like a Chinese call. No, I don't understand. Okay, English call the, if you work together for a very long time, then suddenly got the, got the, the feeling. Spark, spark. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I will keep asking her to come over la, and study la, Even though but someday she didn't she didn't ask for help. Yeah. So this is the fun, is it? Like like yeah. a like a like <laughs> <laughs> Then I increase my attack a bit. So I'm like, there's a bar nearby. Uh, quite nice. Wanna to go together? Then she's like, okay, let's go. For guys, right? When you chill a girl out, uh, then a girl is like, should we call the rest? And uh, then you know that the attack failed. Mm-hmm. She say, you just us, right? I'm like, yes. Okay, let's go. It became like a norm thing. Then one night, dee-dee-dee. <laughs> she drinks, she a bit drunk. <laughs> she's actually hanging out with a group of French people. Her classmates are, uh, but her classmates like don't know that she keep coming to my place. That's why I start to confuse really. Like, if we got slowly got something, you should tell your friend. So okay, back to the drunk story. So that night, she tell me that, can I sleep at your dorm? Then in German, don't think it too far first, okay? <laughs> I'm like, okay, you you sleep on my bed. Then I sleep outside. The next day I wake up, uh, she'll be sleeping beside me you know, on the sofa. Then I'm like, oh my god, what happened? 
No, we didn't do anything. We didn't do anything. Then she tell me that she lonely. She want to sleep with me. Yeah. That means, wow, if if I if I if I if I say my feelings are uh, confirm one hundred percent we together already. Then when you suka each other and you keep drinking, what will happen next? Get together. Uh? Not in between. Before we'll you get talk together. Talk about the feeling. Uh. No, they like. Already. Oh, okay, sorry lah. Our, our, our pump uh, is not the pump pump. It's like oh, a. Pump, pump, pump. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. So we we, we didn't pump pump. <laughs> then you. We pump. <laughs> what? Okay. That means we never go all the way. Uh, okay. yeah. Then uh, the last month of her of her internship, uh, and then I, I confess really. I'm like, actually, I, I like you. Then she a bit shocked. Then I'm like, wow, xiao liao. You shocked, that means not a good reaction already. Then she tell me that actually the French group of friends are uh, one of them is actually sort of seeing her. Huh? Nani? Okay. Yeah, then I'm like, what the f before she go to Paris, she will fly to Hong Kong first. Then I book a flight to Hong Kong and find her. Okay, I think this sounds stupid already, actually. Sorry. I know, I know, I, I stupid, I know, I agree. So I went to a hotel and want to like try my last try idea. Then it ended very badly. She changed to another hotel, then I don't know where to go. Then I a bit alone at Sun Tzu and Kanan Dam. Then she delete me everywhere. Oh she God. blocked me everywhere. Oh yeah. Okay, perhaps your turn. Okay, so it was when we, I was in poly mm -hmm. year one. Mm. He was in my class. So we started getting close because we took the same bus to school. Then I started like questioning myself, like, hey, does is it friends always like that? Because like he started getting like physically affectionate towards me. Okay, so I have this thing, right? Okay, all my friends know that I like to touch veins. <laughs> He was like, hey, you can touch mine, that kind. So the like bus ride will be like that, that kind. Obviously, our friends started asking like, hey, are you like dating? That's when I know that I was in the grey area because I didn't know how to answer. Then my friends were like, um, ha, then you don't want to like ask him about it. But then at the same time, I'm also like her. I'm like, no, thank you. It went on for like one whole semester, I think. But basically what happened was we just started drifting apart. Okay, so Caps is labelled Queen of Grey Area for a reason. Yeah. By the entire office, by the way. So, how many other times has this happened with other people? Alright. Let me count. Ting or no, Ting or no. When I know her, I think I around 5? What the? Oh my god, I forgot! Wait, so the other ones also end up like they're just G for no reason or what? The one just end. And just end, or like we just became like good friends. Uh, like, do you try anything different after learning your lesson yeah. from the first one? No, 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 okay, okay. So, because after the f this 18 year old peps, right? After the first grade, I got into a relationship. Ah, okay. And then after that relationship, I got into a second relationship. Ah. And then after this relationship, then I was really single for like one entire year. Mm. Then when I started like getting back into the arena of dating, right? Mm. Then I'm back to the square one. <laughs> then the square one peps was when this. Shenanigan happen. Okay. So obviously I didn't learn from that lah. No, I feel like for both of us, right, when it comes to this kind of thing, it's like if the person don't say anything, we'll just leave it hanging. And then we are very comfortable with hanging one to one. So maybe to that other person is like, I I think she's just comfortable hanging with me. Okay. As oh. a friend. Oh. But as in like some of them it's not because like I'm waiting for their answer, you know. It's yeah. like it's like I think that I really that I realize I don't want. After a while, I realized that like, hey, I don't really have to wait for their answer. Yeah. I can I can own self answer myself and then I like, just go on from there lah. Like it can go two ways, but like guy want to play, also can play. Oh. oh. Can I ask one question? What? Because for both of you, right, your grey area, huh? the guy never really like attack attack, you know. Mm. What if ah uh, you guys you and the guy oh? okay like you already. Oh, really? <laughs> 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 Okay, 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 like yeah. no more than just like yeah. go ahead. And then they still don't want to confirm anything. Would you like double tahan? Eh, hey, what the fuck, man? Okay, then you go and confront. Hey, you kiss me area, so what is it? I have self-respect. So when they coming to me, right, they already coming, I'm just like, whoa, okay, what is this? Hey, my lawyer, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I feel like I will. When the planter want to plant the strawberry, you will let him plant one. <laughs> That's what you think. No. Because like, I'm not gonna give you like boyfriend privilege when you're just like that. Damn oh. yeah. <laughs> Okay, a lot of my relationships start with grey area and the grey area is usually very long one. Mm. Because I'm the kind of person that like you don't say anything, I don't really care. Because to me it's like, woohoo party, I don't care about you. Wow. Like whatever. Like wow. I don't need this guy in my life. Yeah. Okay, this is with my ex-boyfriend. Okay, but before he was my ex-boyfriend, we were just friends and we met through mutual friends because we work at the same workplace. And then because my friends are the kind that they 
keep want to party. So after, after work, they always like, hey, Leo, we go this bar, drink, Leo, we go here, drink. So he always happens to be there. So like, cause he very free that period. It happened a few times, and then every time we go club, it's always like the same thing. Like, we will dance with each other, whatever. Then, but that's about it. Like, we never really do anything else. So this period of like the clubbing or the meet with a group of friends and then we just like act like we are a thing but not a thing happened for like a few months like to one year like what a few months to one year kind yeah but then everybody like question mark question mark at us that kind so that's why i consider it like gray area like. the turning point was when one time i went back in a cab with his close friend this girl okay my friends always say hey you and you and him how ah that's say nothing nothing it's always very casual they never ask me seriously mm. only in a cab then the girl asked me seriously like Eh, hey, what, what, what are y'all ah? Then I say, I don't know leh. But then she like, but then you should ask leh. Like, y'all already so long already, like that, like that, then never do anything. Then I think about it, then I say, okay lah, what's the harm of asking? Just ask more. So I just text that night in the cab. Then I say, eh, hey, by the way ah, your friend asked me this, so I just wanna ask you. He read, then the next day he replied. Then, it was like something about like, oh, I don't really want, like something like blah, 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 blah. Then I just like, oh, it's cool. Like, I, I okay, that kind of thing. But then ah, uh, after that, still want to continue. And the worst thing is that after that thing, it wasn't just clubbing, it's like he asked me out individually. Then we go out one-on-one with me. Then he want to hold my hand, all this kind of thing in public also. When I asked him, it was like maybe a few months in, like eight months in already. Then the next year, like in the middle of the year, then he asked me to be his girlfriend. It was a one and a half year period of like, we just never established who are we. Wow. So it was just like this person in my life and that's about it. Mm. So I think when the grey area comes very serious, right? It's always when you start to communicate a lot more with the person and like mm. talk one on one with the person. I think mm. we didn't reach that point until later on. I think I guess we talked a bit about our stories already, right? Do y'all think that being in a grey area has pros and cons? Or do you feel like it's just like no, like you know you want to be this grey area? I think it depends on how much you're willing to tolerate. For me, right, I think the pros usually last like within the early stages. So yeah. it will last for very short audience. Before I catch feelings, I'll be like, oh, okay, this seems fun and I'm getting to know you. But then once it gets confusing, usually that's when I really catch feelings. And then like, I realise like, I question like every single thing that he does, right? I'm like, oh my god, does this mean he like me? Does this mean like that or thing? I feel like once you already like the person, right? Th there are a lot more cons than there are pros. I think it changes the feeling from I like you to become like, what the heck are we? Like angry. I think, yeah. okay, like, I guess it's a very clear pros and cons in that mm. sense. Mm. Mm. But I, I I think what our audience would like to know, right? Is like how to handle this kind of situation. So we posted up a QA on our social IG, la, mm. for people who, you know, are not sure about certain things when they're in the grey area so I'm gonna pull it up now and then oh. see whether you can answer these questions oh okay okay this person say they fuck on the first date whoa oh, good job because he's supposed to be FWB because he's supposed to be FWB that's what he said oh. but then catch feelings and dating then she said this wasn't meant to be a commitment thing but I want to give it a shot anyway so the question is how I, I, I feel like 80% don't try why? When you are FWB with someone, you don't care whether the, the person got red flag or whether she got do this, got do that, or whether you like this or like that. You don't care, right? right? Okay. Confirm, confirm got chance also. But high chance is it won't have it won't end well one, you know? Okay, I think know yourself first, lah. Yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, kind yeah, of person yeah. you are. Because like okay. for me, right, I think if let's say I have feelings for that person, I wouldn't do all those things because it will confuse Exactly, my, my exactly. Decision. Yeah. So this might be confusing your decision. Mm. I would say you give it a period of X number of months, right? Mm. At the end of X number of months, you see whether your feelings for the person is real feelings for the person or you just like infatuated that kind of thing. So by the deadline, if I feel like I like the person even more, the kind of thing that I will make it clear. If not, right, then it will just make you very upset in the long run. Hanging out and being all touchy-touchy with each other and yet he hangs out with many other girls despite knowing my feelings for him. Drop him. <laughs> Before you drop, right? Maybe you ask first. Yeah. No, but he knows about she, he knows about the feelings, right? But okay, how explicit were you with your feelings? Do you say like I want you to be number friend? I think yeah, it's true. more of like clearing it with him, like oh who who are they? That kind of thing. Like ask it very casually mm -hmm. instead of like yeah. guessing that it's like yeah. Don't assume, don't yeah, assume. Yeah, don't assume. Someone said, I feel like it's just an excuse for the other party to not commit or be responsible for their actions. <laughs> I don't necessarily think it's an excuse, eh? I don't think so. Because I feel sometimes it takes time for people to get to know the other party, right? Yeah. And in dating, it's, it never jumps straight into like, okay, we are dating. You know what mm. I mean? As a girl, you guys also paise to ask, right? Mm. I mean, I'm pretty sure out there got, got a lot of guys also paise to ask. Of course, yeah. of course. Yeah, so, so this one you must really see how one. Like, okay, you can think to yourself like, do you want this to progress further? If you want it to progress further, then just take the freaking shot and ask. Like the worst mm. thing he's going to say is that I don't really feel the same way. Then move on lah. Because the thing is that if you don't, 
us and you just like team decide to like oh I think it's not going anywhere so like yeah then the person may just assume that like oh I guess it's not going anywhere so yeah. I'll just yep, yep. say no so. yes I agree I think a lot of people think that right it's on the guys to say something yeah. mm, but yeah. actually like in this day and age I, I don't think like girls should wait for the guys also mm. so like girls can also say if it will make your mind more clearer right and like not so confused right then mm. like just do it lah like, change a lot you know I think so. so. You change a lot. Hey, thank you, like ah. Yeah, you change a lot. <laughs> no, serious, because it's like it's not based on what they want, also. It's based on what you want, also. Yeah. Okay, I feel like right. I feel like right. Gray areas, right? Inevitably, will happen with any relationship at the start. Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. but it's not for you to see who cares less. It's for yeah. you to see whether you are compatible. Yeah. So, in a sense, why you are questioning yourself about should I care more? Should I text this person? What if the person never me? Should I continue texting that kind of thing? Right. It's an indicator of the interest of the other party. Actually, that, yeah, that's mm. true. Cause yeah. it's very normal for people. Play hard to get It's fun Like I get it Trust me I get it To me you cannot fault The other person mm-hmm. For playing Because that's their own choice right. You can only Trust yourself to do The best response To that action I hope we cover Everyone's concerns In the comments below Hopefully our video Has directed you In some sense mm. Yeah And if you like this video Leave in the comments Down below uh, What you liked about it And tell us what To talk about next time And don't forget to Like share and subscribe Bye bye Why did I say bye Bye, bye. Bam bam!